of rough science from the island of Kariakou off the coast of Grenada. Based here at this old derelict lime factory, five scientists will be getting back to basics to try and crack a series of challenges. This is about science. It's not about survival or competition. Ingenuity and cooperation will be the keys to their success. When you're on a tropical island, you've got to learn to cope with the heat. That's a lot easier if you've got something cold to drink, but our scientists don't even have a fridge. So can their brains beat the heat? Right, guys, Mike and Mike, we'd like you to make us ice. A nice, big, shiny block of ice. <laughs> In this weather. <laughs> In this humidity. Yes. And you're going to help, Kathy and Jonathan, you're going to help them by making them a thermometer so we can see how close they're getting to freezing point. And Ellen is going to be the saviour of all of us. You're going to save our complexions and make us a sunblock. OK? I'm here to fetch, carry, be shouted at. You've got three days to do it. Let's go. <laughs> Get going. Stop looking shell shop. Get me some ice. <laughs> the science of cooling is one that most of us take for granted, but not might be. Sweating is just a natural, natural process. When you get too hot, uh, the body produces a li liquid on the surface of the skin, and that evaporates. And as it does so, it, it needs heat to evaporate, to go from liquid to vapour. And you get a cooling effect because it's taking the heat from the surface of the skin to enable that process of evaporation to take place. So we're going to try and use evaporation to cool, to cool water and make ice, yeah? Yeah, that's exactly it. Mike Bullivant needs to get a bottle full of something that evaporates like sweat, only faster. We need super sweat. As it evaporates, it should cool down any water that's around the bottle. And Mike Leahy is trying to think of a device to speed things up even more. Something to force the super sweat to evaporate as quickly as possible. On with the lid. Mike B's first step is to fill a kettle with lumps of wood. A piece of precision engineering. Feed that in there and take it over to the kiln. He's trying to extract a form of alcohol to act as our super sweat. So, what's going on here? What I'm trying to make is some methanol by heating this wood up in this kettle. And uh, the methanol is a solvent that boils at 67 Celsius. When it evaporates, it needs heat to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, if we, like if you drop some methanol on your arm and it evaporates, you feel the cold. So, it's sort of stealing the heat from your arm. That's right. 